Backs. Hey everyone, today I'm going to be reviewing the Motorola Click XT. It's one of Motorola's low-end Android smartphones that they have. And by low-end, I'm not emphasizing that. I'm not... Well, it's very low-end. Just know that. Nothing special about this phone, really. So let's start out taking off the back plate. First thing about this is it is extremely annoying to get that thing off. And same with the battery, getting it out the first few times will break off your fingernail. <clears throat> so here's the battery. Um it only battery is not that great on this phone. Last I'll know. Using it probably six hours and then you have to recharge it. Um the SIM card goes in right here. Just slide it in if you can. Unless you're a retard like me. There. You've got this little plastic thing to keep it in there. The micro SD card also has another plastic flap pull out. And there it goes. Pops out. Um the Click XT comes with an SD card, a 2 gigabyte micro SD card. Which is nice. Um has a 5 megapixel camera, as you can see. We'll get back to that. Um So the Click XT has a 3.1 inch capacitive touchscreen. It's got the normal Android buttons, menu, search, home, back. And then this is a touch sensitive trackpad and button. Push it down to select. <clears throat> um, the back of it's, uh, as you can see, is like a. It's got a pretty cool texture to it. It's. A, I don't know what you'd even call that. But it's. I don't know. Kind of slippery at times. Not very grippy, as like it looks. It comes with this and another plate, uh, purple, kind of metallic purple, or rather, rather feminine purple, if you ask me. Um, so let's turn it on. All right, here's the so the buttons on. Like you got a camera button which used to take pictures, focus camera, all that. Open up the camera. A power button and volume up and down and the USB and the charge port there. And a 3.5 millimeter audio jack for headphones and headsets. Um, so let's turn it on. First thing you'll notice when you're turning on the click is that it takes an extremely long time to start up. So now that we got it finally started, I'll take you on a tour around inside the phone. Um, so first off, you got five home pages to customize as you wish. Um, one problem with the Click is that it's running 1.5. The Motorola has been saying they're going to release an update since last. Uh, Q2 of quarter, uh, the second quarter of last year, and that hasn't happened yet. They keep telling us that they're working on it, that they're working on it, but I see very little motivation to get the update out to 2.1. Um, so it runs fairly smooth in around your home page and then your in your uh, app drawer. The browser is fairly decent. The phone It's not the fastest phone by any means. We'll get back to that. Uh, let's see. Hmm. 
So, Google Mobile does not zoom. Classic. So it's got the browser has multi-touch, like pinch to zoom, all that. Um. So the phone. Let's get um. Let's go to let's get to apps. The phone comes preloaded with a bunch of apps. These are not all preloaded apps. These are ones I have installed. It comes with one that I really like. It comes with Shazam. Shazam will actually you play a song into it for you of the for you for you that don't know what Shazam is. It um it gives you the name of a song. You'll play any song that you're here on the radio or wherever you hear a song. Open up Shazam, let it listen to it for a few seconds, and it will give you the song artist and album of that song. Really handy. Comes with Quick Office, it's just a to browse your SD card and all that. Comes with a, it has a music player. So I will not play any music. Do not want to get sued. Phone has a 528 megahertz processor, which is not great. It's the same the same processor they used in the old G1, which tells you something because that phone is old and well, it's old. <laughs> It has 256 megabytes of RAM, which is decent. It keeps the phone running nice and smooth, even with the slower processor. Although you do have to make sure to have a task killer, otherwise your phone will come to a screeching halt once it starts running a few apps. Also, another thing I recommend for this phone, with more advanced users, is to root your phone. I rooted mine and noticed it increased the speed quite a lot. Also an app called Set CPU will act, you can actually scale the what frequency your CPU is running at, put it on performance and it will constantly run at full power, which I have not noticed to actually impact the battery life too bad because the, also this app will uh, have it will um, lower the CPU when it's not being needed. It's a very handy app. One thing I really like about this phone is its camera. It's a five megapixel camera with a LED flash. And the flash is really nice. A lot of phones don't have the flash. A lot of the cheaper phones don't have an LED flash. It's really, really handy. Um, it takes really nice pictures. Can't really, obviously, you're not gonna be able to see through this. The media Just gallery is also there. nice. It has the pinch to zoom, the multi-touch pinch to zoom. Uh, be, which is nice because uh, 1.5 doesn't actually, Android 1.5 doesn't actually support multi-touch on its apps, but the media, the um, picture gallery and the web browser both support multi-touch. All in really all, nice. the Motorola Click XT is a decent phone I would suggest it to people who are looking for a, um, not a, not, not a bottom of the line, but a, just an all right Android phone. Someone, people who don't want to spend a lot of money, but they don't want to get a cheap phone. Motor, the Click XT is for the price it is, is a nice phone. It has nice features such as the camera, the LED flash. So if you're looking at the Click XT, be warned, it can be a little sluggish. You need a task killer. And all in all, it's a decent phone.